Okay. Hi, teacher. Today I am going to talk about present perfect. And we are going to talk about past simple. And for our class, the, our learning objective is to analyze the structure and the use of present perfect and the past simple. The day I was 2022. In our case, let's start with the class, okay? And I am going to start with, I am going to tell you uh, my experience, okay? I have gone to China. My mother and my brother have visited the Great Wall of China. In this picture, you can see it's the sushi, is food. My father has eaten sushi. And in this picture, you can see a kimono, okay? My cousin has bought a kimono. All of these sentences are, are in present perfect. This class is about present perfect, okay? And we are going to analyze when do you use present perfect. We use the present perfect when you want to talk about situations that started in the past and continue now. You can use the present perfect when you want to talk about past events uh, with a present consequence. And you can use present perfect when, when, when you want to talk about life experience, okay? That the, these sentences are my life experiences, okay? And in the case of you, if you want to talk about situations that are in the past and continue now, you have, for example, uh, this. I have lived in Quereberato for, for three years. In this case, this situation uh, was in the past, but continue now. In the next example, you can check. I have lost my wallet. In this case, this action was in the past, but with uh, the consequence, you, you have the consequence now because um, I can't find it, okay? And also you can, uh, when you want to talk about the life experience for this example, I have never tried octopus. This is my experience. In present perfect, you have some keywords like for, so far, since, just, ever, yet, or really. If you, you, usually, if you check a sentence and in the, the sentence is using these words, you can analyze and you can say that this sentence is in present perfect, okay? Now, the, the timeline. You can, you can remember, you, ha, you can use the present perfect for different situations, for example, in the first uh, timeline, you can see this line is the present, okay? This is the future and this is the past, okay? The X is the situation, okay? The period of the time. You can use present perfect uh, uh, when an action is in the past and no time indicated. For example, I have eaten. In this case, this is an action this action was in the past and you don't have a specific time, okay? So, uh, this action that start in the past and it's possible to continue now. You can see this part. You, you can eat, uh, uh, the person eat, uh, eat something and this action can be continued, okay? Now, Repeat action in the past, often with quantity words. For example, I have eaten a squid three times. This action, you can repeat the action. The action is in the past. So duration from past to now. For example, I have worked here since 2010. This action was in the past, but continue now. You can see the line time, the timeline. The action, okay, the action is here. Continue the action until the present and continue in the present, okay? Now, when what is the, the, the structure of the present perfect? You have to recognize the order of the sentence. First, 
You have to use the subject. Uh, you can use the personal pronouns. I, uh, you, he, she, it, we, you, they. Also, you can use uh, nouns or names. Okay, my cat, my dog, Susana, Juan. And then you have to use the auxiliar of the present perfect. In this case, you have to use has with. Has with he, she, it. The third person, the singular. Now, if you want, uh, if you write the sentence using I, you, we, and they, you have to use the auxiliar ha for the for the plural and the the um, and the pronoun I. And now it's so important this you have to use the verb. The verb uh, you can use you have to use in press in past participle the third column. Okay, for example, it in present. You and in this case, in present perfect, you have to use the third column. So, eaten. I have eaten an apple. We have eaten an apple. They have eaten an apple. And in the with the third person, he, she, it has eaten an apple. The difference is according to the to the subject you have to recognize and according to the subject you have to use the auxiliar has or have and the verb in the th uh, is in past participle okay and uh, remember we use present perfect when you want to talk about an uh, actions that was in the past but continue now okay and in our class we are going to do a speaking activity okay in this speaking activity we are going to practice the present perfect with a game in this game, you have two. You, I have light. Students tell their parents, uh, partners, two, two, true, and one sentence using I have or I haven't. Okay. The negative form or have is having. In this case, you can use in this form. If you want to write a negative sentence, it's so easy. For example, the affirmative sentence, I have eaten, eaten sushi. Is, this sentence is affirmative, okay? Examples. This sentence is affirmative. And if you want to write in negative form, it's so easy. You have to change the auxiliar have or, or has in negative, have, the negative form is have not, and in the case or you want to use has, the negative form is not. Or also, may you if you want to uh, use contraction, it's possible, you can use contraction. The contraction or have, haven't. And the contraction or has, hasn't, okay? In this case, I suppose I want to write about Tom. Tom has not, Eaten sushi, okay? And if you want to change this sentence in questions, it's, it's easy. You have to change the auxiliar in affirmative form, have or has in the first part. How? In this way. For example, I have not eaten sushi. You try to remember in affirmative way. Uh, um, the question, have, have is the auxiliar of the present perfect, and then you have to write the subject. In this case, we are going to use the same, I. Uh, have I, and you then you have to use the verb in past participle, eaten, and the complement, okay? In this case, sushi. Don't forget, it's so important, the question mark. Have I eaten sushi? And that is all. Now, with the next example, Thomas has not eaten sushi. In this case, it's the same. You have to use the auxiliar in the first, in the first place. Okay, in this case, it's ha, has, wait. Okay, has, then you have to use the subject. In this case, Tom, or you can replace with a personal pronoun. Uh, in this case, he, has he, or has Tom, 
Then you have to use the verb, but the verb, remember, you have to use in past participle. Has he eaten? And the compliments, sushi. And don't forget the question mark, okay? And if you want to write questions, okay, this is the order, okay? The auxiliar, the subject, the verb in past participle, the complement and the question mark, okay? Don't forget that. Now, let's continue with this with the game. In the case of the game, you have to you have to tell me, okay, three sentences. Two sentences, okay, just two, you can use present perfect. And uh, the sentence are true. And you have to tell me one lie, okay? Then when you, uh, when you finish the activity, then the students ask the questions. And the students have to recognize what is the lie. Okay, who guess uh, they will they will be a winner? Okay, okay. This is a speaking activity, and we are going to practice some activity some activities interrogative form. In this case, uh, you can use have you ever uh, when you talk when you want to um, ask about experience if you in some of part of your life do the activity. You can use have you ever, have you ever visited China? Have you ever eaten sushi? Have you ever bought a kimono? Okay, you can use this informative, uh, this form indicates informative in, in interrogative form. Sorry. And also if you want to practice more, you can do a, li a listening activity. In this link, you can go to this uh, live worship and you can listen a song. According to the song, you have to complete activity, okay? Now, we are going to talk about past simple. In some cases, we can use both, both pa uh, present perfect and past simple, and also we can confuse in these in, in this topics. Now, we are going to explain the, the, the uses or past simple. The past simple we use when you talk about uh, activities that you finished. Yeah, uh, that you finished. Okay, now, in the case of past simple, you can use the verb to be, uh, was, were, in past, and also you can use regular and irregular verbs. Remember, in with regular verbs, we have um, some rules. Remember the regular verbs, we, uh, you have to add ed according to the rules uh, to the verb. Okay, and in the case of the irregular verbs, the form of the verb change. You have to memorize the, 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 the words, okay? And we have this example in affirmative. They were friends. This sentence is in present simple. Uh, the verb were is in present, and so you can recognize, ah, the sentence is in press, in, sorry, in past simple, okay? With the verb because you in this this sentence is using the verb to be remember the verb to be is our am in past was were what we use for he she and it and uh, i and you can use the plural they you we with were okay now in negative form in negative form you have to change the verb to be has was or were in past, was not, or with contraction wasn't, were not, or with contraction weren't, okay? They weren't friends. In this case, the, um, the verb to be is negative, weren't, and is using contraction, okay? And if you want to write a question, it's so simple, okay? For example, in this case, wait a second. We are going to do the activity together, okay? The, the, the question, okay? In this case, it's so easy. You have to write in the first part, the verb to be, where, then you have to use the subject, they, and then you have to use the complement. Were they friends? And don't forget the question mark, okay? 
And this is all when you use the verb to be, okay? But if you don't use the verb to be, it's a little different, okay? You, we are going to change, check. For example, we have this sentence. She worked yesterday. This sentence is using a regular verb. You can recognize that this is a regular verb because verb in past, in the, in, in the past, you have to use it at the end of the verb, according to the rules. She worked it yesterday. And you have to recognize with the verb. The verb is so important. If you want to change in negative, okay, you have to use the auxil the, the auxiliary of the press of the past simple. In the case, the auxiliary of the past simple is did. She did then and the verb in the base form work yesterday. She didn't work yesterday. When you use an auxiliary, remember the verb is in the base form. And if you want to make a question, you can you can do this way, do this part. Okay. In this case, you have to use the auxiliary. The auxiliary in this case is did. Did you have to use the subject? Did she work yesterday? Remember, when you use an auxiliary, the verb is in the base form. Don't forget the question mark at the end of the question, okay? And this is all, okay? Now, if you want to write the present perfect and the past simple, you can recognize some differences and, and their uses. Okay, for example, in present perfect and past simple, we can check again uh, the timeline. For example, this line is now, is the present. This activity in present perfect, remember the activity in present perfect, you can uh, did the activity in past and continue now and finish the activity, okay? For example, I have is a contraction between I and the auxiliary have, I, I, and the verb do in past participle, okay? It is the third column of the verbs, done. I had done a lot of work today, okay? So, list, uh, pay attention to this. This activity it was in the past, but continue now. For this reason, you can use present perfect and you can use um, the, this word today that refer to the to now, to present. In this case, a period of time that continues from the past until now, you can use present perfect today, these expressions today, this week, since, um, or oh, exactly, exactly times, okay? But in past simple, you can use in activities uh, that were in past and finished the activity. For example, I did the, uh, the verb do is in past, did a lot of work yesterday. This word did, that it is a verb, is in past and also you can check this word yesterday. This, uh, this show us that this action was in, in past and this action, this action was uh, finished, okay? And for a finished time in the past, we can use past simple and also you can use expression uh, uh, with yesterday, last week from 1950 to 1966, okay? And activity, for our, uh, we are going to make a feedback. For our feedback, we are going to do an activity in class but this activity is with both uh, these topics, present perfect and past simple, okay? And we are going to start with activity, okay? This is activity. We have different sentences. We have to analyze each uh, one by one, and we have to identify what is the correct, um, the correct sentence. If we can use present perfect, or we have to use past simple. In this case, Lunch, yeah, this is a question. So in this case, we have to use, if the, sen if the question is in present perfect, we have to use the auxiliary has or have. 
y the sentence is in past simple, we have to use the auxiliar did, okay? Lunch yet, we're going to the cutting, canting, if you, if you, this is a contraction to like to join us. In this case, we have two options. We have, have you had and did you have? In this case, the correct answer is, have you had? The question, because the question is about something that has a result in present, okay? Well, that is the reason that we have to use this. And also remember, according to the this part, some keyword that we can use in present perfect is yet. And in this question, we have this, this word, yet, okay? Number two, I to Australia when I was a student. In this case, this sentence is affirmative. So we have the subject, then we have to use. If, it's a, is, if this sentence is in person perfect, we have to use the auxiliar, uh, has or have. Oh, in this case, with the, uh, the subject is I, so we have to use have. Or if the sentence is in past simple, we have to use just the verb in past, okay? In this case, the correct answer is when, okay? Because this is a specific, uh, is a specific event in the past, okay? Okay, activity number three. I, you have the subject, here since I left school. Oh, sorry. Uh, this sorry, this is a question to Australia. Okay, the correct answer here is have you ever been? Because we are uh, asking about uh, something that happened at some time with an, a specific time period. Okay, so is that uh uh a specific period about your in your life? Okay. Now, number four, you have I here since I left school. This sentence is affirmative. Okay, we can rec recognize this. And we have to uh, recognize what is the correct option. In this case, is B. Why? Because this sentence, the, uh, in this sentence, this is something that started in the past and is still true now. Okay. And so in this case, it's an activity that was in the past and continue now. You have to use present. Perfect. In number five, there an accident in the town center and the road is closed to traffic. In this case, the answer is has been because this is a recent, a recent event, a event that a result in the present. That activity, the action was in the past but continue now. The consequences are the consequence are now. Number six. For number six, we have we 20 years ago. In this case, got married because uh, we can recognize uh, this, um, this activity was in the past, okay? And this was, uh, this, uh, this sentence has a specific uh, time in the past. Okay, for number seven. Oh no, I, my phone, have you seen it anywhere? This is a question and we have the sentence and also we have a question, okay? In this case, we have to recognize and the correct answer is have lost because uh, the, this is a recently, recently, res, re, recent event with a result in present, okay? Number eight. How long in London for two years from 2000 to 2002? In this case, we have to recognize first this sentence, is, this is a question, and then you have the answer. So for questions, in this case, have you long in London? You have to use did because this is about something that started and finished or in the past, okay, we can recognize the activity was finished. Okay, number nine, where this morning, this is a question, I tried to call you, but your phone was off. 
In this case, this is a question. Try to remember if it's present perfect, you have to use the auxiliary had or have. It, and in the case is, uh, if the question is in past simple, you have to use did or the verb to be in past, okay? In this case, the correct answer is where you, because the question is about a specific time in the past. Number 10, I run in twice this week. In this case, this is an affirmative sentence, okay? And according to the rules, if it's present, if the sentence is in present perfect, you have to use the auxiliary. If the sentence is in, in past simple, you have to use the verb, but in past participle, okay? In this case, the correct answer is has been. Why? This because the action, okay, this happens uh, within an unfinished time period, okay? When we have this, this expression, this week, this unfinished time period. Okay, next activity. I've been to Europe once, I in 1995. In this case, we have to use was, okay? Why? Because this is a specific event in the past. The, and also the activity was finished, okay? And finally, we have the activity number 12. I, a cake, it is the kitten if you like a piece, okay? In this case, this sentence is affirmative, okay? And we have to use, in this case, present perfect. I have made a cake because this is a recent event with a result in present, okay? And this was a topic about present perfect, okay? With past simple, remember the structures, and remember the line time if you want to write a specific sentence, okay? Thank you so much.